The Sky News can reveal staff shortages are severely affecting cleaning services at the Alice Springs Hospital. Let's go live to Matt Cunningham in Darwin. Matt, how have the services been affected? Well, pretty badly, uh, Tom. We've actually received an email that has been sent to all staff at the Alice Springs Hospital from the Environmental Services Manager. This email says, please be aware that the Environmental Services team are short-staffed for the foreseeable future. Our highest priority is to maintain a level of cleanliness that meets infection control requirements, particularly in clinical and public areas. Uh, most office areas currently are scheduled for a weekly vacuum. However, for the next four to six weeks, our staff will be focusing on entryways and thoroughfares. That email goes on to uh, tell staff what they can do to help out uh, the cleaning services that are being severely affected. This comes, Tom, after we this morning revealed uh, the story of an Alice Springs mother who works as a cleaner at the Alice Springs Hospital who says that she's leaving town because her son has been on two occasions subjected uh, to some intimidating but behaviour in including one pretty violent attack where uh, he was set upon by three youths, one holding uh, an axe in an Alice Springs park. Now, I did ask the Chief Minister uh, at a news conference this morning about these issues. Here's how she responded. The staff at the hospital are being supported. Uh, management have put in place a number of measures to ensure that all staff feel safe, both working and also getting to work. Uh, and we'll continue to address uh, any individual needs that are required. But we're focused on making sure that the whole of the community is safe. We are expecting tomorrow, Tom, to see the Northern Territory Government introduce urgent legislation to the Parliament to return those alcohol bans to Aboriginal town camps in uh, Alice Springs and some other areas, following uh, the advice that came from Darrell Anderson, the Central Australian Regional Controller, and some pretty serious pressure from the Federal Government. We've also seen the independent member for Araluen in Alice Springs, Roman Lambley, suggest that there should be a ban on alcohol in Parliament House. She He's going to put forward a motion to that effect this week. Here's how the Chief Minister responded. I'm not sure what Robin Lamley did when she was Deputy Chief Minister, but I can absolutely assure Territorians uh, all of the staff and the ministers and the members that work in Parliament House are at work each and every day working for Territorians. So I think it is uh, you know, a question for her. What, what she articulating? What did she do when she was Deputy Chief Minister if she somehow seems to think there's alcohol everywhere? The first sittings for the year will happen in Parliament House here in Darwin tomorrow. It's going to be an interesting week, not just that legislation being introduced by the government to return alcohol to those town camps, but also the opposition putting forward a motion of no confidence in the government. Matt Cunningham, thank you.